If I were to pick one word to describe the Rock and Box system, I would say it's innovative. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news from Rock and Box Town. Wait, the bridge is out. Don't go any further. Oh no! Oh, oh, it's going to fall. Don't move. Hang in there, oh, buddy. Moves. Help is on its way. We'll tow you back. Okay. Here I go. Oh, bless my stars. What about building the school? I have to get my truck across the bridge to build that school. He's right. We need that school. Does anybody here know how to fix the bridge? Uh, I don't, not me. I have no idea how to make a bridge. Maybe we don't need a school after all. Wait! I know how to do it. But he's just a boy. What's your name, boy? Aiden. Are you sure you can do this, Aiden? I've been playing with Rock and Bach a long time, so I know how to build strong bridges. The first thing we need to do is spread the load so we can support more weight. But how do we do that? Trestles. We'll make trestles. Come on, everybody. Let's move it. Here at UCSD, we have been working over the last three years on uh, examining the affordances of the Rockenbach toys and looking at how these toys promote cognitive, social, and language development. What we found is the development of the budding science of engineering and also mathematics. Here at the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum, we have rock and block blocks because it really fits into our hands-on learning initiative. When many kids are spending way too much time with video games, television, you know, this is an educational tool that they can start to learn and experiment with the early math, building, engineering skills that they're going to use for the rest of their life. like that. Don't forget the braces. Hey, how old do you think that kid is anyway? Well, it's hard to say. Rock and bock isn't just for little kids. Watch your step, Aiden. Whoa! My daughter's been playing with them since she was five, and she's still playing with them in high school. All right, braces are ready. Roger that. What's next, boss? I need to talk to some of my classmates. So what we're doing today is we're going to actually build some bridges and see which one is strongest. The Ocean Discovery Institute is an organization that works to empower young people from urban and diverse backgrounds to become scientists in the future. We put together a curriculum that uses the Rockenbach toys in order to uh, help students understand principles of uh, bridge building. Here, with these yeah. braces. Yeah. I don't actually know how to connect these though. I think that one of the things that I would say about the toys is they're made so that kids can build quickly, but also have the ability to make their own choices about how things look or how they connect different pieces together. The toys themselves are built to let kids be successful. Oh wow, look at that is a sturdy bridge. Learning through discovery is a great way for them to both build basic understanding of scientific, mathematics, engineering principles. But it's also a great way for them to understand what their drivers are, what they're excited about, um, get their spark for science, and really open their mind to new careers, new possibilities that they haven't thought of before. Actually, can do this. This is actually better. But that's an angled one right here, so it's only clipping. Do you think it will hold? I don't think it will hold. I know it will. Let's go to four. That's what's up. We're at eight. Yes. 10, 15, 
Okay, still doing pretty well. What do we got next? Start your engine. 38. You know, it's a, it, I thought about what is rock and rock. You know, and thought about it many times. And the major thing that comes to mind is an adventure. Innovative, challenging, exciting, tangible. Rock and Bach isn't just a toy. It's an investment in a young person's education. Yes. Yes.